What's going on everyone? It's been about what two ish three almost a month since I made my last video and the reason for that and the reason why I haven't been posting on Instagram and if you follow me on Instagram you will see at Radha Shooter I'll leave it down below is because right now well in a couple hours I'm going with my parents and we're gonna pick up my brand new car today I will be picking up my 2019 Mark 7.5 Golf R in Oryx White Pearl. Is that the, I think that's how you say it. Oryx White Pearl and I got it with the black styling package so it comes with carbon fiber mirrors, black rims, and the car already has like a lot of black trim so I think it's gonna look amazing. Right now I'm gonna go take a shower and just relax, calm the nerves down. I'm super excited right now. Uh, what else, what else? Also, um, I'm going to be picking up a license plate bracket mount for the vehicle. Oh my gosh, I really need a haircut. I got a lot of plans for this car. I got a lot of mods coming, a lot of how-tos, tips. Um, but first off, today we're going to pick up the car. I'm going to wait for my boy Marcus to finish work. And then we're going to drive to Kitchener later tonight. And the really cool thing about the really cool thing about the car community, the car culture, is that you can go on any forum that's specific for your car and find out what you need for the car, some mods, some tips, some how-tos. And so far, I've been talking to a few people, I've been interacting and learning about new things about the car that I'm getting. And if I pull it up here, give me one second. So tonight, I will be picking up the Novus Tech license plate mount for the Mark 7.5 Golf R. Um, this one, let me just let you guys know, it works with the Golf GTI and the R from Mark 5 all the way to Mark 7.5. It works with the hatchback or the wagon. It's good with the Jetta, the GLI from Mark 5 to Mark 7. Good for the Passat V6 to V7, V8 the Tiguan and the Atlas, Audi A3 S3 or the Audi A4 S4 um, and many more. It probably, if you can see the design here, you can definitely fit that to what grill or what grill the car you're using it for. Let me just show you guys a quick example what it's going to look like. This is what it's gonna look like. Basically, most people mount it on right under the logo. Oh. I suck. Anyways, most people mount it under the logo, which means that you have to drill into the bumper. I want to avoid that. I want to have a clean look of the car and avoid that because if I go to a show, car meet, whatever, I can easily pop off the plate and have a clean look for a couple hours and then pop it back on for um, legal purposes because that's the law in Ontario. And yeah, anything else? I don't know. Okay, shower and then wait a few hours. We're gonna go pick up the car. Uh, I do need to clean out the old car because I'm giving it to my parents, so. Goodbye to the Lexus Hybrid. Hello to the Golf R of today. I'm super excited, you can't. Oh, I'm okay. So I'm all washed up, ready to go. We're gonna pack up the car, get it ready, and we're gonna head to the dealership and sign paperwork and take delivery of my 2019 brand new Golf up. just got home and I am super happy. I I officially took delivery of a 2019 Mark 7.5 Golf R. Um, I'm just gonna go get some cool shots while it's still bright out. So I'm gonna get some cool shots, show you guys around the car. Let's start with the interior though while I'm in here. Some nice blue stripes, the digital display, our logo clean 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 looking setup 
I did get it in manual. So with manual being phased out slowly, I wanted to get my hands on one, at least one in my lifetime. So that's why I chose to get this in manual. I understand DSG is faster. It's probably better for every day, but it would be nice to learn and achieve being able to drive a manual as an everyday car. So let's go and take some photos, make some B-roll, take some video, and yeah, let's go. Okay guys, now we're at the spot that I wanted to show you the car. So this video was just, just a first impression really of me grabbing the car. So sorry if it's a little bit windy, I apologize. I didn't get the windscreens yet, but here's the car guys. After I give you a quick overview, I'm gonna do a few cinematic shots. Pretty much nothing has changed from the 2018s except for two things, like right away you can tell. Um, the, uh, the first one is obvious. We got 19 inch black Pretoria rims. These ones are super nice looking actually. And my favorite, from factory carbon fiber mirrors. I never seen the eBay ones that you can buy, like just the mirror caps, but the carbon fiber is clean and super stoked and hyped about that. The weave is just perfect on that. So let's just do a quick overview. Everything, okay, if you guys know Golf R's 2018 is the exact same thing as the 2019 except for the rims and the mirrors, but I'm just gonna do a quick overview. So previous generation before 2018, different lights, um, the vents are different, you get some you know, a little bit of some front lips. You get a little bit of like a side lip. And in the rear, you have it all the way around right now. No black sunroof, we don't get that like Europe. Uh, black R badging, black R calipers. Yeah, you can kind of see that. Biggest change is just the slight styling. Um, you got, we got different, uh, Tail lights. Uh, let me just press the button, show you guys. So it only flashes on the outside here. We don't get the sequential sadly, but that's okay. You can always modify that and code it yourself. Um, that's it for the outside. Like, there's not, there's honestly not that much that's changed other than the mirrors and the wheels, like I said, like a hundred times. But let's go back inside. So basically, in the Lexus, I had these two things. I like the the off-white tag and my Gengar. And that just basically gives a little bit of my touch. So I'm gonna end the vlog right here with a nice cinematic, just a few stuff that I like about the car and what I've done to it. And um, yeah, I'm like super happy right now. Like I can't, uh, can't comprehend that I actually own a 2019 Golf R. And it's really cool because when I was in high school, my goal was to get an STI by 20. But you know, your taste change and other stuff. So I ended up getting 2019 Golf R by 20 years old. I, I don't know what to say. I'm just super happy, super stoked about it. And yeah, I can't wait to share my journey with this car with you guys. So if you like the video, give it a fat thumbs up, smash that like button, all that good stuff. Subscribe if you haven't already so you can follow the journey, follow the build, what I'm going to do to this car. I have a few plans that uh, that is going to be fun, it's going to be cool, and um, yeah. And also leave some comments down below if there's anything specific that you guys want to see, if it's a how-to, um, an overview, whatever you guys want. But I will be creating content, a lot of content for this car, and I think I finally found what kind of videos I want to make now. I really want to make a lot of videos for this car and I'm super hyped and super stoked about it. 
Anyways, guys, I hope you enjoyed it once again. Peace and enjoy this montage.